Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Today I wanted to review different methods for monitoring your water level in your cistern. And this is especially important if you're using an underground tank where it's not easily accessible and you can't easily see what the tank level is and you want to make sure that you uh, are closely monitoring it. There are a lot of different methods for doing it. We have tried, we've field tested uh, just about every single one of them, trying to give some honest uh, feedback on each, each, um, each method. The starter model is, it's real simple. This is, uh, this is our go-to for, especially for residential applications. It's inexpensive and it's very simple. The mechanics are, are very simple. This gauge right here is what mounts to the top of your tank, usually through your riser. If you have a plastic lid for your tank, you just drill out a hole, mount this onto there. If you have a concrete tank, we cast our concrete tanks with a clean out on top, so you mount it to that, that plastic clean out. And this is the float that gets dropped directly below this gauge into the tank. Um, there's, a, there's a string that recoils or, or uh, extends with the water level. This float that moves up and down in your water tank will correspond with that black needle that will give you a readout of the tank level. You have to calibrate it initially based on the height of your tank and there are instructions how to do so, but this plastic front plate comes off and you move those empty, the red empty arrow and the green full arrow based on the, the actual height of your cistern. Again, this is an inexpensive tank gauge and it is trustworthy. Um, it will likely only last a couple years, uh, so you can expect to, to probably have to replace it in a couple years. But compared to other tank gauges on the market, it is definitely the most cost effective way to monitor your tank level. Um, there's, a, there's a slight variation of this made by the same company. This is a wireless unit. It, it does have a wire as well, but this is, it transmits the water level and you can, you can uh, monitor then the water level inside your house. We do not like this uh, model. Again, it's the same, same manufacturer. It's expensive um, and it's, it's really not as reliable as we'd like. So we, we, used, to, we used to sell it. Um, we, we field tested it uh, and then took it off uh, the market shortly thereafter just because it didn't, it didn't meet our specifications and uh, our quality standard. There are other uh, ultrasonic level transmitters like that that are in the $150 to $350 range and we again have field tested them all. They're, they're not really accurate. They, they can they can have uh, glitches that will throw off the water level, um, so it's not reliable. And for the price, it, it doesn't make any sense when you when you can have a, a, a really reliable um, gauge in the thirty dollar range. Uh, we also have an option of instead of monitoring the whole tank level, we can set an alarm so that we get a either a visual or an audible alarm at a given range. Usually for rainwater harvesting tanks, that's at the low water level range. Uh, this is a, a tank level sensor that we, we stock. This is uh, made by Alderon. It has a corresponding float switch that goes into, the, your, into your tank. You would set this float switch at your alarm level. And again, usually that's in low level cases. So towards the bottom of the tank, uh, you probably want to set it so that it's above your intake on your pump. This will, ordinarily the float switch will be upright. When the water level drops, you can hear that click. That uh, creates a circuit that sends a signal to this, this level sensor that's mounted uh, externally, and it will beep uh, and go into an alarm phase, so you can be notified if you do have low water level. In terms of if, you're, if, if, you're, if you have more of a commercial or industrial system, you may want to look at our flow line line of uh, uh, tank level indicators. Um, Flowline makes several ultrasonic level indicators that mount inside the cistern. This is one such uh, model. This is the EcoSpan. The way these mount, uh, they mount again in, inside the cistern. There's a flange and a drop pipe that goes all the way down to the bottom. This threads into the flange um, inside the tank. There's a port to ex uh, export um, shielded low voltage wiring back to a digital readout 
that will, you know, you can have this inside your house, inside your building, uh, if it's a commercial application, um, and this will give you a real-time readout. Uh, you can calibrate it to read in gallons, uh, in inches, in meters, in uh, milliamps, um, whatever, whatever readout you want, you can, you can cycle through and, and get that. This does require, um, you'll want to use shielded wire, shielded uh, low voltage wire to wire in and out of the, of the ultrasonic level sensor. And you want to make sure that not only that it's shielded, but if you have a pump in the same tank where you're mounting this, you want to make sure to keep that, that line voltage from the uh, pump, the high voltage legs, away from this low voltage leg because the, the high voltage will interfere in the signal of the low voltage return. So if you're running conduit, you want to make sure to have one conduit for high voltage, one for low voltage, and use the shielded wire. Uh, but it, this is an extremely reliable system. It will give you an exact readout, provided that it's calibrated correctly. And we even have um, options where you can monitor the tank level remotely and upload that data if, if you're, for educational purposes, uh, if you need um, people to see what the tank level is. It's, it's very easy to incorporate into more sophisticated software that is all uh, relatively affordable, um, but it, undoubtedly it's, it's a lot higher end than, than uh, the simple manual electric free tank gauge. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find information about any of the products mentioned in this video, not only in the description below, but also on our website, www.rainbrothers.com. Thank you.